We all receive scam texts or scam calls or scam emails all the time at this point. Like basically half the people that text me at the moment are just scammers. I'll see what the most recent one I got was. Oh, yesterday. Okay. Gov UK, we have identified you as eligible for a discounted energy bill. Under the energy bill support scheme, you can apply here and it's just a scam link. So today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best and worst attempts of scamming people ever. Hey, it's Lady Gaga. I need $145 to continue working on my new song. Ra, ra, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Ah, that seems legit. I love how the <laughs> I love the little detail of how the profile picture just has the search bar with Lady Gaga above <laughs> and the little bit below. Yeah, I'm sure Lady Gaga wouldn't just have a picture of herself on the phone. She, she needs to search up pictures of herself. I told this scammer I own a fruit company called Fruity Guys. I told him I could only send money if he posed for my advertisement first. <laughs> Oh, he's holding a mango as well. Oh, he's, he's, he's pulled out all the stops for that. My daughter posted a bad review for a product purchased from Amazon and received this a month later. I'm assuming it's just an idle threat. Should she be worried? Hey, uh, we noticed you left us Lazzle products a negative review. Hey, you, we noticed you left us a negative review. That rhymes. I'm giving you three days to change it back to five stars only. Otherwise, we will hack your personal info and your address. We have someone inside Amazon who can get all your info. Change it to five stars or I will ruin your account and your life. Three days only. Let me know when you've done it or I will begin that. Hack. Lazzle service team Johnson. What the fuck is a Lazzle? Hey, it's Michael Jackson. I'm messaging you from a private account. I'm not really dead. Can you cash out me $600 so I can come back to the United States and put out more music? He <laughs> he. I wasn't sold before the he he. But he he he. Only Michael Jackson can he he. Trash human tried scamming me after I lost my cat. What? I found your cat. Is he okay? Is he wearing his collar? Can you send a picture and let us know where to come get him? Yes, firstly, I want to verify that you are the real owner. Okay, you should have a black and red collar with his name Banksy and my husband's phone number and they sent a picture okay now I have sent you verified code please send me the code if you are the real owner what code check your cell phone messages and I sent the code through uh, you're a terrible person how dare you don't worry about this code this code is a scam checker you only sent me the six digit code ma'am you trust me what the fuck he's trying to get a fucking two step I am Michael from Los Angeles and I am 35 you think a registered nurse could spell Los Angeles it's a dictionary problem keyboard just tell me what the scam is two thousand pounds. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I'm your diplomatic agent, Mr. Dave Dawes from the UK. I'm here in America to deliver your cash consignment box to you. Get back to me as soon as possible, okay? Sounds great. Where can we meet? What's your name? If you're my agent, how do you not know my name? I lost your info on my way coming. That doesn't sound professional. I will not be working with you. What the fuck is a cash consignment box? Are you expecting people to be like, oh yes, my cash that I ordered. Yes, it has finally arrived from the United Kingdom. Hello, friend. This is Elon Musk who made Falcon Heavy. I lost my credit card and I need money to finish making the stuff. Starship. Can you send me a $1,500 in Amazon gift cards? I have Gwyn Shot... I don't know who that is. Gwyn Shotwell here with me. Hello, this is Gwyn Shot... Who's Gwyn Shotwell? I need, I need to look this up for context. Oh, she's the CEO of SpaceX. Okay. But it seems legit. Like, he's got he's got 1.7k followers on Instagram. A scammer wouldn't have 1.7k. That's a lot of followers to have. And 116 posts. It must be legit. Message I got from my grandma a while ago. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. I, I, you can tell they're suspicious because no one's nan. Goes, starts a conversation by going, What's up? Sounds great, and I'm doing perfectly well myself as I really benefited from the ongoing personal and business grant program. Have you heard about the grant program yet? Well, no, no, that sounds amazing. Please tell me more. Were they the ones able to bring you back to life since you died last year? Oh, fucking hell. This hasn't aged well. This is from a year ago. Hey, this is Prince Philip. My wife, the Queen, needs you to pay for my funeral. Please tell me your card detail, and I will let you come to the Queen's house to meet her. Hello, this is the Queen. Oh, I love these types of scams where they, they pretend to send you money over Apple. Pay. We don't have this in the UK, I don't think. People will pretend to send you money over Apple Pay, so you, and they're like, "Oh, wrong number, please send it back." So any like half decent person would be like, "Oh, okay, they sent me wrong, they sent me uh, money incorrectly. I'll just send it back to them." But uh, no, they're scamming you. Don't do it. Anyway, um, hundred dollars. Who's this? Send it back, wrong, please. Why? Why you type my number then? Who is this? Boogie. I typed on accent. Boogie. The fuck name is Boogie. Can you send it back? I'll tell Apple to send it back. Gift card scam. Customers are receiving phone calls saying they missed jury duty, missed a bill payment, etc., etc. These are scams. No official government organization will ever call or request gift cards. I don't get how people fucking fall for shit like this. Like, I, I mean, I know people obviously do because they, they, they're they like fucking massive, these types of scams. But like, surely when you hear, oh yeah, uh, you, you've missed a bill payment. Yeah, please pay it via iTunes gift card. Surely that should raise some suspicion. I finally got one, or at least I think I did. The conversation did not quite go as expected. Hello, huh? My name is Tang. This is me. Oh nice, super excited to receive my first ever scam text. Lol, congratulations. How can you tell I'm a fraud? Was it not blatantly fucking obvious? Anyway, 
anyway. Okay, let's be open-minded in that case. What are you here for? Yes, I agree. I look for fools and scam them. I do it for a living. Obviously, you're no fool. Oh, nice. How's that working out for you? In fact, I meet idiots every day and I will squeeze every last drop of blood out of them and... Uh, what? And disappear making 10 grand a day. You don't, you don't make 10 grand a day. Don't be dumb. You don't make 10 grand a day. I'd appreciate it if you could give me <laughs> the number of some idiot. Like, you could give me the number <laughs> of your enemy. Like, as if everyone just has an arch enemy. Like, this is fucking Pokemon or something. Hi, Dad. My other phone crashed this morning, but this is my temporary number. You can save this one. Message me if you see this. Hey, how are you? Okay. How was French test? It was okay. Do you have a moment or are you busy right now? What do you need? I'm ashamed to ask you this, but I have overlooked something very important. I have to pay one invoice today before one, but I haven't got online banking on this temporary device. Okay. I'll transfer money back to you this week. Okay. Can I afford the invoice to you? What's it for? I'll explain later. No worries. Where are you? I'm at a friend's house. Who are you? What do you mean? It's a simple enough question. I have four children, the oldest, in which case you came back from the dead. Which one of them had a French test today? None of them. And all my children have good English and do not misspell words like which. Okay, so this comes from Cristiano Ronaldo underscore Lonsdale 7. Hello, it's Cristiano Ronaldo using my second account. Can I borrow your debit card so I can buy a new pair of football boots from Sports Direct? I mean, it seems legit enough. He needs them to play football. How, how do you expect him to play for Manchester United without a pair of uh, fine football boots from Sports Direct? Try to buy a chow puppy. Ask them to write today's date as proof it's legit. That looks very legit. That looks in incredibly legit. Hey, how's your day going? Good, thanks. How is yours? Well, it's morning and the day is still young. It's afternoon for me. I'm Emma from Houston. Where are you from? Hello, Emma from Houston. I'm Harry from England. Oh, we're hours different then. Is Houston in America? Here is my photo, by the way. Yeah, Houston is America. Lovely, but you're in Nigeria at the moment. What's the weather like in Lagos right now, huh? Your IP address says you're in Lagos, Nigeria. Got him! I've been in love with a lesbian girl for more than four years. She was a very close friend of mine and loved me a lot, but wouldn't date me because of her sexual orientation. Now she is suffering from AIDS because of her homosexuality is in on her deathbed. That sentence doesn't make any sense. Her only wish in life was to see the vagina of a hot girl. I really want to help fulfill her wish. Can you please send a picture of your vagina so I can show it to her before she dies? You gotta respect the hustle. Oh yeah, but if she has AIDS, wouldn't that mean she's already had sex, therefore seen a vagina? Yeah, fuck, fucking Arab has not thought through his plan here. Pro tip of a girl in a hot bikini DMs you about crypto. Ignore him. It's true, it's true. No, no attractive woman is into crypto. None. Zero, zero attractive women at all are into crypto. You might have the occasional that just like put a bit of money into Bitcoin and Ethereum just you know for holdings or whatever. Diversify their investment portfolio. But ones that are solidly into crypto. Nah, there's, they don't exist. A hitman is asking for 100k not to kill me. Is it a good deal? If your life is not important to you ignore my email. <laughs> they, their name is Dead Mad Hitman. They're not very discreet and they're sending it from a Gmail so you know very easily traceable. Anyway, good day. I want you to read this message carefully and keep the secret with you until further notice. Oh, he, he didn't put a full stop there. He's put a capital letter there. He's not a very educated hitman anyway. You have no need of knowing who I am, where I am from, till I make out a space for us to see. I've been paid $150,000 in advance to terminate you with some reasons listed to me by my employer. It's one I believe you call a friend. Blah, 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 blah. I need the amount of 100 grand. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love how he says of regard. Dead man, hitman. Not even regards. Just a single regard. What the fuck? James, this will get you rock hard for at least 5.5 hours. It's very specific about our time. Make your partner scream guaranteed. <laughs> what? Worried about your pets after the rapture? After the rapture pet care. Be prepared for the care of your pet. For just $9.99 a month, you can register your pet to be professionally cared for after you are raptured. I mean, it seems legit. It seems legit. I mean, $9.99. Actually, that's quite a lot. I thought it was just a flat. For some reason in my head, I thought it was just a flat fee of $9.99. $9.99 a month. That's like a Netflix subscription. Nah, nah, fuck that cat. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.